Good morning, Patty Elementary. It is Tuesday, February 25th, 2020. I'm Antonio Arena. <coughs> and I'm Alexis Heller. Welcome to Patty Elementary School. We hope all students are ready for a terrific Tuesday. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. You may be seated. Antonio, did you know that our year Patty yearbooks are still being sold online? Yeah, Alexis, I hope all Patty campers are reminding their parents to get online and order their copy of the yearbooks because they are selling virtually and it's only $20. Antonio, yesterday our riddle of the day was, if five cats could catch five mice in five minutes, how long would it take for a cat, one cat to catch one mouse? Well, I had to think about that one, and, think, and then I got it. If five cats catch five mice in five minutes, then it takes one cat one minute to catch one mouse. Five divided by five is one. Now it is time for the fact of the day and the word of the day. Today our fact of the day is, did you know that Jupiter is the fastest spinning planet in the solar system? Wow, well, Tanya, that is a cool fact. Now it's time for the word of the day. Today our word of the day is industrious. Industrious means to be diligent and hardworking. Alexis, well, let's be industrious and today our Patty Panthers work hard and make your learning count. Now there's Teddy Ball Game and Del Luce with the Patty Sports Show. <coughs> nice introduction, buddy. Nice job. The Luce is back. The Luce is back on a Tuesday, man. I missed you last week, yeah, Teddy Ball Game. Hey, I we, heard. We got it done with uh, Touchdown Turner Bell. I heard she filled in yeah, well. She did. All right, that Indus a boy. Hey, industrious. Great work for today, man. That is great. It's a rough day outside, you know, with that rain, but. Got to get in here, work, be industrious. It takes a little bit more effort, but we can do right. it, man. What you got in the world of sports? Uh, game? DC defenders suffered their first loss of the XFL season to the Los Angeles Wildcats, 39 to nine. Cardell Jones, who had been playing great, threw four interceptions, and fun fact here, suffered his first loss as a starter since high school. How about wow, that? That's pretty impressive. Uh, defenders were torched by Wildcat wide receiver Trey McBride, 109 yards, two TDs. Uh, funny story there, McBride had been a member of the Defenders, but they traded him last month to the Wildcats. And came so back to torture. Him. Came back to home. That is called karma. That is karma. That's right. I love how you're talking football still. Yeah, you I, like it. I, like, it. Nice. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I like it. Hopefully the XFL sticks around this time. Yeah, you know? man. Uh, Milwaukee Bucks outlasted the Washington Wizards last night, 137-134 overtime. Uh, Chris Middleton, 40-point night. And the Los Angeles Lakers snuck by the Celtics, 114-112. Anthony Davis, 32 points, 13 rebounds. We just had a team LeBron versus Team Giannis All-Star game. Looking likely that their two teams are going to be in the NBA Finals. Yeah, Milwaukee just tore some Sixers, too, yeah. over the weekend, man. And, uh, you know, the Sixers have their own internal issues. A team is not a team unless you can work that out. They'll yeah. never be great unless that team can work it out. Uh, but the stars will shine. That's right. The stars will shine. That's what's happened in those two cities. And finally, spring training has begun. Washington Nationals started off with a win over the world over their World Series foe, the Houston Astros. And the Phillies, our yeah. Phillies, hey. have yet to lose. They got one tie, two wins. Very early on, obviously. But I love that spring is in the air and baseball is back. That's right. Teddy ball game. Predict the number of wins for the Phillies this year. Number of wins for the Phillies this year. I'm going to say 94. Wow, that's, 94. that's big. What, do we have 88 last year, I think? I think so. Something yeah. like that? I'm going to say 94. That's a huge difference, man. That'll get us into the wild card. I hope so. Pretty much. Hey, I'll take 94 wins. But Nats are still the team to beat, I think. Yeah. If you win the World uh, Series, you're the team to beat. They gotta still, still got to prove it. Again. Right. <laughs> Again. 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 Hey, we got some other stars. Talking to these are sports stars. We got some stars in this building right now. And I want to bring up these three awesome students who just represented us this weekend at the All County Chorus Concert. So um, I want to bring these three up with Miss Bachman to talk a little bit about what it means to be a part of the All County Chorus. And I want to hear about Saturday because unfortunately I was unable to make it. So I want to hear how it went. 
we had an amazing day. We started really early at like 7.45, practicing all day long, singing songs, doing movement, playing instruments. And then we were super excited at 3.30 to present a really amazing concert to the community. So these three represented us really, really well, mm -hmm. along with about 170 other fifth graders from around Prince William County. That's awesome. So what did these guys have to do to qualify or make the All County Chorus? They had to audition for me. They had to sing uh, all by themselves in front of me, um, sing a song that we'd been working on in chorus, and, and just make me be able to hear what they were doing. And show that they would be able to put in the work effort for this performance. So guys, let me, I mean, that was not easy, right? Auditioning in front of Ms. Bachman, singing by yourself, right? You were probably nervous, but you didn't give up and you didn't say, I don't want to do it. You just said, okay, I'm nervous. That's the point, right? But I'm just going to rise above that. And then on Saturday, you guys had to get there super early for an afternoon concert, which means you had to practice and practice and practice. And that gets exhausting too, right? Yeah. But the point is you can't get good unless you get past some of those nerves and get enough of uh, confidence to just go for it. But then you also can't get good without the practice, right? So I am super proud of you. I don't doubt for a second that you guys represented Patty um, in a phenomenal way and good for you for, for taking on a challenge and rising to it. I'm really proud to have you guys represent Patty. And so I wanna hear a little bit of what these guys are capable of. What do you guys think out there? You want to hear a little bit? Yeah. Boys and girls, if you could please stand one more time and face the flag. We're going to let these guys take us out. And I'm just going to finish off by saying have a great day. Go ahead whenever you all are ready. Well, maybe they can join us in the Star Spangled Banner. How does that sound? Yes? Yeah, let's do it. All right, here we go. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proud Stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming when the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air came through through the So proud of you guys. Have a great day, everybody. Don't forget, together we are. Hi, Strong. Way to go, guys.